Hello friends, this video on light part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 7. Image formed by a plane mirror is, you have so many different options. Now plane mirror never produces real image. So C and D options are gone. So it has to be virtual. And where is the image formed? Yes, it is formed behind the mirror because if this is you, so this is the object and this is your plane mirror so your image is formed here so the image is actually formed on the other side of the mirror but if you look at the size of the image it is exactly same as the size of the object so option b is the right option question number eight what is the angle of incidence of a ray if the reflected ray is at an angle of 90 degree to the incident so let me try to draw it. Let us suppose this is the surface. This is the normal. This is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray. Right? So the question says that the reflected ray is at an angle of 90 degree to the incident ray. So that means this angle between incident ray and reflected ray is 90 degree. And we know that this is angle I, that is angle of incidence and this is angle of reflection. So as per question, angle I plus angle R is equal to 90 degree. This is according to question. And as per the law of reflection, what do we know? So as per the law of reflection, we know that angle I is equal to angle R. Now making use of both of these, we can say that angle I plus angle R is equal to 90 degree. But we know that angle R is equal to angle I. So we can write it as angle I. Therefore angle I is equal to 45 degrees. So angle of incidence is 45 degree. Question number 9. How many images of a candle will be formed if it is placed between two parallel plane mirrors separated by 40 centimeters? Now whenever we arrange two mirrors parallel to each other, how many images are formed? infinite images are formed as you can see in this picture so it doesn't matter the, the how much is the distance of separation between the two mirrors because the number of images is always proportional to the angle of orientation between the mirrors so in this case also infinite images will be formed question number 10 two mirrors meet at right angles so as you can see in this picture, so let us say this is the first mirror, this is the second mirror and they meet at right angles to each other. A ray of light is incident on one at an angle of 30 degree. So this is incident ray at an angle of 30 degree. Draw the reflected ray from the second mirror. Now here this is the incident ray. So what will be the reflected ray from this mirror? So the angle of reflection will again be 30 degree. So we draw a ray which is at 30 degrees because angle of reflection is also going to be 30 degree. So for the first mirror, angle of incidence is 30 degree. Therefore, angle of reflection will also be equal to 30 degree. So that's how we got the reflected ray for the first mirror. Now this reflected ray from the first mirror is an incident ray for the second mirror because it is falling on the second mirror. So what will happen in case of the second mirror? So in second mirror, let us try to draw the normal to this surface. So this is the normal for the second mirror. Right? So now this is going to be the angle of incidence for the second mirror. Right? Now how much will be the value of this angle of incidence? So now if you look at this picture, you can see this angle is 30 degree. Now this angle and this angle, they are alternate angles. So this angle and this angle, they are alternate angles. Therefore this angle will also be 30 degree. So what will be angle I? It will be 90 degree minus 30 degree because this total is 90. Normal is 
at 90 degree from the surface. So that for the second mirror angle I will be equal to 90 degree minus 30 degree which is equal to 60 degree. So if angle I is 60 degree what will be angle R because angle I is equal to angle R. So angle R will also be equal to 30 degree. So the reflected ray will get reflected at an angle of 60 degree. So this would be the reflected ray from the second mirror. So whenever you have to draw the ray diagram always remember the laws of reflection and you will be able to draw it perfectly. Question number 11. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.